The red box is flashing. That means something must be working. It's G from the Academy. How are you? We're on air. This is the next part of the Secret Keys presentation series. We will see how far we will go. If you catch up with this online, please uh, type in a little word or phrase into the chat box. Hi, hello, how are you? Tell me what's going on in your world. In the first two episodes, we looked at health and relationships, and we discussed different aspects of health and relationships, and how we can improve those. Today, we will be looking at routines, and how routines affect our life, our work, our hobbies, our habits, and also our relationships and our health, and basically everything else around about us. So if you are sitting comfortably or are in a relaxed place, I hope that you will find this of interest. If you are ready, then we shall begin. You should be able to see our homepage on the screen and um, it will probably disappear about now to be replaced with this which I think is a lovely graphic it's uh, obviously two pages from a book or leaflet that have been carefully and colorfully crafted to present a nice little routine that people can follow or think about. So I think most successful people have routines in their life. You don't want everything to be completely random. We like what we like. And we tend to stick to the things that we know. However, there are certain routines, repetitive activities that we can put into our life which give ourselves a little bit of an advantage. So let's have a look here and see what we can see. We've got, I think I have a little, little hand somewhere which might appear in the graphic. Where's my little hand? Oh, it doesn't appear there. Okay, you can. You can't see my little hand. Mm. Which is strange, because you could earlier. Oh, look, you, you, oh, you can see it when I click on it. There we go, there's my little hand. Right. The morning routine. Make a calm... Shall I highlight this? Make a calm space. A space of silence. Some people like... To wake up to sound, some people like to wake up to music. Some people don't have a choice. And creating that choice is, I think, part of getting comfortable with with life. You need to create situations where you have choices. Hydrate to fuel your body. Drink water, basically. Drink water. We all know that most sicknesses, illnesses, and diseases are a result of not enough water within our system. Stay hydrated during the day. I uh, like to give practical examples. I have my, uh, have my juice water tea mix uh, with extra honey here. to keep me focused. Talking about focus, focus on your breathing. Now, 
we'll get into that at the end. Take a few minutes to reflect. I don't know if, about you, but I find it hard to take time to reflect in the morning. I, I prefer a morning that's get up and go and go and do things. Um, personally, it's the alarm, it's the bathroom, it's the coffee, and at some point during that, I'm trying to either turn on some music or put some headphones on and turn on some music that's going to get me in the right mood for the day. Um, interesting, if I, if I wear headphones and the music's going like straight in, it, it really does uh, help my mind focus and, and, and shut out maybe other things that are going on around about. Um, Mindfully move your body. It's a recommendation here for sun salutations. I have a friend who does that. Says it works wonders for him. Um, oh, now, of course, if you're uh, uh, religious or have a spiritual belief, you might have a routine connected to that. It might be a set of prayers that you go through which help you focus. It might be... Uh, reflection on gratitude which which will help you focus for some reason and I want to get into this in the future for some reason gratitude appears to be an extremely powerful emotion to evoke first thing in the morning um, why gratitude um, it's a very interesting question why gratitude? Um, so we'll get into that later. I'm talking about routines today. Um, remember, if there's something that I talk about that is of interest to you, uh, write a note in the chat box so that I can review that idea and um, maybe do a little bit more about that in the future. At the bottom, we have Dirt Dive Your Day. This is the first time that I have come across this expression, dirt to dive. Review your plan, make any adjustment, visualize going through the action. Visualization is what the sports people do, isn't it? Visualization. They, they try to see in their mind the end of the activity before they even start the activity. And um, extremely powerful. If you can't visualize your own success is going to be very hard to to achieve it. If we zoom up to the top here, morning detoxification. Well, that's if you have any radical elements in your body, you might want to detox. Um, recommended water, lemon, apple cider vinegar, raw honey, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper or cayenne pepper. Uh, Sounds pretty good to me. Um, it's interesting how diet can affect your morning. And, uh, you know, some people like to get up and eat and some people like to like like to do things before they eat. Some people like to eat straight away and some people like to, to wait until it's closer to lunchtime to eat. There are a variety of different habits that people have. I suggest that Eating should not be the first thing that you do anywhere ever, <laughs> right? Um, consider the element of gratitude in that. Um, reflections reflect on uh, what and for whom I am grateful for, what I'm excited about, what I'm looking forward to, what is my purpose. Do my plans connect me to my purpose? And who can I reach out to and serve today? So it's not just about serving yourself, going through the day for your own benefit, but serving those around about you as well. Um, I don't think we can underestimate the importance of living a life in service. Box breathing. Now, 
I hadn't heard of box breathing before I came across this, so um, I did a little bit of research, and hopefully I can share this with you like this. I don't know if you can read that. Can you read that? Can I make it bigger for you? Does that help? I don't know if that helps. Box breathing is meant to be done in a quiet and controlled setting. Not while you're in the fight. It's related to uh, martial arts, I believe. The big four of mental toughness here. Uh, what is square breathing technique? Combat breathing. It's also called box breathing. Box breathing minimizes stress. Hmm. Box breathing and meditation technique with Mark Divine of Seal Fit. Imagine that Seal Fitness. The Navy Seal Breathing Technique. Uh, interesting. Okay. Bye-bye uh, window. Bye-bye window. There we go. So that's box breathing. And... Uh, here it is, inhale for a count of five, hold for a count of five, exhale for a count of five, and hold for a count of five. It's conscious breathing, conscious breathing. Okay, still with me? Good, thank you. Shall we move on? Next, let's see what we have next. Okay. Naturally, the graphic doesn't start at the top. You have to scroll up. That'll be Microsoft technology for you. Anyway. Do this, don't do that. This is our second graphic related to routines. Take back your mor mornings. Are you a morning person? I know a lot of people who are not morning people. Ugh. Uh, it's evening here. Let's stand up. Got to move. Yeah, let me let me show you something. Let me show you what I did. I had to rope the cushion to my stool because it kept falling off. Insanity. It is insanity. I know. Right. Take back your mornings. Maximize your mornings. Maximizing your mornings can supercharge your productivity. Morning people get more done, relatively. And some studies even show they're friendlier and more conscientious. I think that's because they get the SHIT out of the way as soon as possible. Um, reclaim your mornings with these simple tips to add precious hours to your week. The night before, prepare, prepare in advance. Never be too prepared. Plan ahead. Have a calming ritual that gets you ready for the next day. Pre-program the coffee maker. Set out your clothes. Prepare a coffee maker. Could be a partner, I suppose. Um, do you have a coffee maker? I don't have a coffee maker. I have to make my own coffee. I am the coffee maker. Right. There you go. Um, set out your clothes. Prepare your lunch. Um, I don't know anyone that prepares their lunch for the next day the night before. Hmm? Might be a good idea. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, do rethink your wake-up time. Think 6 a.m. or earlier. That's what top executives at firms such as Twitter, Disney and PepsiCo do. So the execs do it. The people at the top do it. And there's a reason for that. There's a, there's a reason why they're at the top and others are not. Don't be wired. Turn off all electronic devices 90 minutes before bedtime. 90 minutes before bedtime? Nobody does that. Yes, all electronic devices. Light from screens, big and small, can promote wakefulness. Wakefulness is when you're not really sleeping properly. Um, you know, little flashing lights, little sounds, vibrations, 
anything like that you have to be careful of. After you wake up, don't stress out. Stress puts your brain in crisis mode, making rational thinking difficult and sending you into a negative downward spiral. Um, don't press snooze. Oh, guilty. Guilty. I press snooze. That, that. If you press snooze, you lose. I'll say it again. If you press snooze, you lose. So don't press snooze. Researchers say you'll restart your sleep cycle. Feeling groggy longer, it might take hours to function optimally. It takes me hours sometimes normally to function optimally. Uh, anyway, it's good advice. Try to avoid stress. It, it doesn't. This is very general, though, isn't it? It's very general. Set a routine. Start each day the same to cue your brain to move forward to the next goal. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you know what's coming next, then you can be ready for it. Get moving. Whether it's a workout or a quick stretch, get your blood flowing. Studies show you'll feel more alert and motivated. Don't email. This black hole can steer your morning off course. I met a girl once who said the first thing she did in the morning when she woke, after she woke up was check her emails. She was either addicted to her work, extremely dedicated to her work, or obsessed with her work. Um, and none of those things are good, essentially. Right. So, um, try to avoid the email. Stay offline as long as you can. <laughs> All day, if you can make it. No one emails about real emergencies. <laughs> anyway. Unless it's your boss in a big company. The night before. You know what I'm talking about. Do your first 15 minutes of the day very carefully. Studies show top leaders schedule their most important to-do list items early when they can fully focus with no distractions. Get up, get it done. Get up, get it done. Work on that passion project. Studies show creative side projects help keep you engaged and relaxed throughout the day and help you perform better at work. Oh, look. There's a man painting. You know, you could... You know, if, if, if you like watching films, you can do a bit of research on films. If you play guitar, keep a guitar in the corner of the room and you can muse on it for a little while. Find something. Pa page, chapter of a book. Find something. Get focused. Ask yourself, how can I add value today? What can I make better? What am I grateful for today? Focus, 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 focus. You can't stress that enough. You don't want stress, but you do want focus. Don't skip your workout. Statistics show you'll feel less calm and less healthy. Furthermore, sleep that night will come less easily. Hmm. Don't watch television. <laughs> Don't ever watch television. <laughs> Open the window, throw it away, feel happier instantly. Don't watch television. Television and talk radio distracts and stretches out the morning ritual. That's why we like talk. Talk radio is nice in the evening, I think, if you can find something good to listen to. Um, or radio plays. Check out the BBC's radio plays. They're fantastic. Or, you know, talk radio. Check out Rush Limbaugh, Michael Savage. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Mike R Rivero, what really happened .com. Check out Infowars. Um, check out a podcast. Check out the Joe Rogan podcast. Check out 
the Stefan Molyneux Freedom in Radio podcast. Check them out. They're nice to listen to in the evening. Uh, endless, endless. Check out uh, what was I looking at recently? Uh, Robert Scott Bell for health information. Check that out. Um, so I would recommend that as a sort of evening chill out. Um, Music sometimes helps keep you focused. A lot of studies show that. Uh, check out even Ivan Carmichael's work on YouTube. He has specific music for different moods. What are you talking about? What, are, what am I talking about? Okay. You want to know what I'm talking about. So, let's bring back our bring back our internet page. Can we bring that back? There we go. The www.nsa-slovakia.com website. You scroll down to the bottom here. Do 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 past all these videos and all this information and all these links. So scroll down to the bottom and click on YouTube. Can you see my cursor? Good, I like it when you can see the cursor. Didn't like it before, but I like it now. And this will take you straight to the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching uh, page. Oh, here's a live video I did earlier. Um, what am I looking for? Ivan Carmichael. Is it A-E-L? Of course it's A-E-L. Ivan Carmichael. Music, motivation, entrepreneurs. Ivan Carmichael, Ivan Carmichael, there we go. Um, great online motivational information. And uh, what am I looking for? Playlists uh, here. And we should be able to find playlists for... For music, here we have uh, productive music for work playlist. Are there any more? That there must be more. Just happy music for work playlist and study music for work playlist. Creative music for work playlist. <laughs> so, um, so he has uh, various compilations already organized for productive. Productivity, happiness, and for study. There we go. How cool is that? Thank you very much, Ivan, for putting that out free on the internet for us. He has also lots of great videos about uh, about motivation. Check, 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 check him out. Check him out. There we go. Thank you very much. Disappear. There we go. Back to our graphic. So, don't ignore family. Gather around the breakfast table for quality time that becomes difficult to find after 5 p.m. because everyone is tired. Everyone is tired later on. Don't answer the phone <coughs> or online chat. Even short calls can derail the rest of your day. So check caller ID before picking up. Train yourself to work without distractions for longer durations of time. Do something important. Remember, first things first. Start your day with a milestone that keeps you motivated. Do something which is achievable. Do something which is achievable. That's what that means. Manage your energy. Block tasks for certain times of the day. Keep morning tasks open for tasks that need your creative energy. Don't do busy work. Mindless tasks might seem tempting, but they only delay your most essential to-do list. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have a bad habit with busy work. I think I'll do this instead of that just because. And I really need to prioritize. I really need to prioritize. Uh, wow. And this comes from 
Entrepreneur Magazine. Thank you very much, Entrepreneur Magazine. What are your thoughts? Do you have any thoughts? Do you have a brain? Use it. Okay. Moving on. Insights from the morning routine of 100 plus successful entrepreneurs. What do they know that we don't? A lot, probably. You have to learn from successful people. You have to learn from people who know more than you. It's as simple as that. Let us begin. Remember, if there's a routine that you have that we haven't mentioned, yeah, write it into the chat space. Um, I talked a little bit about my, my extremely simple routine. Um, I do think about things like clothes the night before. Like I, I do think about, okay, I've got this to wear, this to wear, this to wear, so that uh, so that I'm not thinking about it too much when I actually wake up in the morning. So that I've got a clear path with nothing in my way. Right. About the data set, the morning routines of more than 100 entrepreneurs were studied, 49.5% women, 50.5% men. A variety of entrepreneurs were included within the study, writers, creatives, founders, co-founders, solo entrepreneurs, and CEOs. 10% of these traveled frequently and 15% were parents. Aggregated information on morning routines. The average wake-up time was 6.21. A bit late if you ask me. The average routine length of the morning was uh, 2 hours and 28 minutes. The longest routine was 6 hours and the shortest was 30 minutes. But they all had routines. Most entrepreneurs talk about their routines as everything they do from the time they get up to when they reach work. This includes flexible times for eating, reading, the news, preparing for the day, and commuting, not just power or productive components like exercise, meditation, or writing. Top five morning routine building blocks. Numero uno, number one, nourishment. Most mentioned drinks, hot water with lemon, coffee and green smoothies. Most mentioned food, eggs, yogurt and granola. Granola, that's like uh, cereals, sort of cereals and nuts kind of crushed and mixed together, sometimes with yogurt, usually sweet. Uh, like those nutty bars that you can buy in shops. Physical activity, top activities, walk, hike, Hiking in the morning, running, gym, physical activity, and yoga. Swimming, swimming, it's not there, swimming. Range from full workouts to just a few minutes. Reading, times varied from a few minutes to a full hour of reading in the morning. Checking email, ah! Responses were the most divided on this element, yet it made it into the top five. Planning and social goals. Using applications, whiteboards, note cards, and physical journals. Keeping a journal, keeping a journal, that's key. Nightly routines matter, as I've talked about already. 10% uh, mention, only 10% mention some type of nightly planning or routine. Common elements, celebrating the wins of the day. To do planning and preparation. You also want family time in there as well. I think, but then what do I know? Moving on. High performance habits to embrace each morning. Number one, eat breakfast. Eat, monsters eat. Well, eating is not the only way to begin your day. Um, let's bring back the net. Here we are. I would like... Ah, thank you very much, Dr. Mercola. 
Can you read that? It looks a bit... Um, uh, looks a bit hard to read on the small screen. You might want to enlarge it a little bit. Okay. If I enlarge it, it here, it's going to all be pixelated because of the systems. Um, anyway, I'm going to read it for you. A type of scheduled eating plan, it's called intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. It's a scheduled eating plan where you restrict your normal daily eating to a six to eight hour window of time. So you only eat in a period of six to eight hours during the day. You don't eat all day. You don't eat at the beginning and at the end. The benefits are um, it can increase insulin and leptin sensitivity, reducing the risk of chronic disease. Um, it can reduce or lower the oh, there we go, the hunger hormone. Um, <laughs> Hello, can we have the picture back? Thank you. Um, it increases the ability to become fat adaptive, increases your your energy by burning stored fat. Decreases triglyceride levels, inflammation and weight gain. Well, obviously, if you eat less, it's going to happen. But you also have to think about the quality of what you eat, not just what you eat, but the quality of what you eat. Um, and maybe even the, the different mixes of the, the, the foods that something should be eaten together and something shouldn't be eaten together. You can find lists of these on something called the internet. Right. Eating. Nuts, green vegetables, chicken butter, Whey protein, avocados, coconut oil, eggs, all good things. Got some coconut oil in the fridge over there. Bad bread, potatoes, pasta. I'm very bad with bread. Recommended schedule or schedule, depending upon how you pronounce it. Once again, it shrinks. Here we go. Um, so recommended is in the morning that people fast. They don't actually eat until 11. Um, then they eat between 12 and 6 and they fast in the evening sleep and then now when you're fasting it's not eating it doesn't mean not drinking so you want to continue um, putting fluids into your body you want to continue having enough water and maybe some smoothies or coffee or other drinks that are good for you and this information comes from mercola.com drmercola.com it's a very very good website. You also should consult your doctor, I think, before going on any specialized diet or um, a recommended physician or health expert. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye window. Back to the morning and the morning habits. Uh, eat breakfast. Besides being good for your overall health, the first meal improves your memory, boosts your energy, improves your mood, and enhances your concentration. At least so says Kellogg's. I added the last part. Me meditate. Almost said mediate there. Meditate. It helps lower the levels of stress. It just means focus. Enhance creative thinking and productivity. Many high performance from high performers from Anthony Robbins to Ariana Huffington to Oprah include daily meditation as part of their success plan. Might even include prayer if you're religious. Move your body, move your body, move your body. Research shows that those who prioritize exercise before work are more consistent exercisers. A good walk or run can increase your mental clarity for four to ten hours post-exercise. Tra-la-la. Daily goals. First thing in the morning, your mental clarity and focus is high. Probably the highest it will be all day, depending upon how much sleep you've had and if you had good quality sleep, I would add. Take 10 minutes and get clear about what you need to accomplish for that day. Write a list in your planner. Do you have a planner? Hmm? Prioritize tasks in order of importance. <laughs> and then ignore. Um, 
Visualize the day. Let's do some visualization. While you're preparing for your day, you're thinking about your big goals, but also visualize the day that's ahead of you. Visualize it from a perspective that everything is happening perfectly. Now, as usual, I recommend a visit to Pinterest to try to find some uh, graphical information which you can read on this topic. Um, let's see if I can bring it up here. Uh, everything is going very slowly. Does it want to work? Here we go. Thank you very much. Move this over here. That over there. And click down here. Welcome to the web. So, this is our home page. Um, I think if you scroll down to the bottom, we have a link to Pinterest. But I've also got one at the top here, so I'll click on that. Uh, morning routines. A quick search graphically on Pinterest pulls up all of these different ideas. Some of these graphics you might recognize from my presentation. So there's lots of resources that you can use. I think the most important resource is just to start with one thing. Do one thing. Find one thing that you can do. One thing that you can add to your day. One thing that you can add to your morning and step by step add other little things in. That's what I would recommend. So, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, I uh, hope that this was of some use to you. Please interact. Please communicate with us. Uh, please tell us what you'd like us to present. Please tell us what's interesting for you and what's not interesting for you. Keep in touch with us. Let us know. And we'll try to provide you with the information that you need to make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, year. Little things lead to big differences. There we go. If you want more information about what we do, it's at the bottom of the screen. The Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching, www.nsa-slovakia.com. Um, this presentation goes out to the Facebook group, the Academy of Language and Life Coaching. If you want to join the group, then find it on Facebook and click Join Group. There we go. It's that simple. Wherever you are, have a fantastic evening and uh, stay cool. I will speak to you.